Hello, uh, it's Tim from My Watford News and we're here at uh, Vicarage Road a couple of hours before the Hornets take on Antonio Conte's Chelsea. Uh, we're going to have a word uh, with a few fans uh, about their hopes uh, for the rest of the season and what they think of the new manager so far. So let's go. OK. When are you, tell us when you're ready. OK. Uh, so I'm here with, what's your name? Gina. OK, Gina. Um, playing Chelsea tonight. Uh, if you lose against Chelsea, do you think Watford might be in a bit of trouble? They might have to start looking over their shoulder. Right, number one, we're not going to lose tonight. Number two, we could call their bluff and win, but hopefully we'll get a draw anyway, and that'll give us one point. And the hope for the season, we're not going to go down. OK. We've got, we got a real fighting spirit. Okay, and what do you make of uh, the signings you've made in the January transfer window? Happy with those? I like the new manager. Who's that new man? Um, Defoe. Yeah, Defoe. Defoe. I think that's a brilliant... Delefoe, yeah. 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 I think that's brilliant because he should work well with Troy Deeney, who we kept. Okay, so you're definitely not going down? No, you've got to be joking. Okay. All right, thank you very much. That's all right, darling. Okay. So I'm here with, what's your name, please, sir? Aidan. Okay, Aidan. Um, you're playing Chelsea tonight. Uh, tough game. Uh, if you lose against Chelsea, do you think Watford might have to start looking over their shoulder a bit? Not really, because Chelsea, Chelsea's always a tough game, no matter what form either team we're in. And... Anyone can beat anyone in the Premier League, so we won't really be looking over our shoulder too much. Okay. And what do you make of the uh, signings Javier Garcia has brought in, in in January? Happy with those? De La Feu, I saw him at Stoke. He played amazing. And the other two, I'm not really sure who they are because they're not as big as De, De La Feu usually is in like Barcelona and all that. So it'll be good to see them play. Okay. And just one final question. Let's fast forward to May. Will Watford still be a Premier League club in May? Oh yeah, we 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 won't go down whatsoever. It's going to be a close relegation battle, but I'm pretty sure we won't go down whatsoever. Okay. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Okay, so I'm here with what's your name, please, sir? Uh, James. James. Uh, so you've got Chelsea uh, tonight. Um, if you lose. Uh, do you think you might be in a bit of trouble? Well, there's, I think there's only a six-point gap between 11th and 18th, so if we lose the next two games, we could be down the bottom of the table. So I'm, I'm open for a draw, then we've got West Ham on Saturday, and if we win that, I'll be a lot more confident. Okay. Um, so, Javi Garcia's brought in a fair few players in January. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you make of the signings he's made? De La Faye is a good signing. Not too sure about Indong, because it's from Sunderland Championship side. Um, who else? Uh, Pontus Dalberg, the goalkeeper, went out alone. Um, I could see him to be the successor to Gomez. And was there one more? Luke. Yeah. Luke. The, I can't pronounce his name. It's all right. Um, from the one, I think he was. So I'm hoping he'll be on the bench today. Maybe we could see him. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And just final question. Fast forward to May. Will Watford still be in the Premier League? <laughs> yes. But I think we might finish 15th, 16th, somewhere around there. Um, but I don't think we'll get relegated, no. Right. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, uh, so I'm here with, what's your name please sir? Mark Clint. Okay Mark, um, obviously you've got a tough game tonight with Chelsea. Yes. Um, if Watford lose, uh, do you think you might be in a little bit of trouble, so I have to look over the shoulders? I don't think so, I'm thinking they'll get it back in the end. You know, I always hope that they win. I, I put silly bets on. I, I put 2-1 every game and 5-0 every day. Oh, really? Really. So you're I'm hoping for a 5-0 tonight, then? Yeah, I'm hoping for a 5-0 tonight. What is your prediction for this evening? Um, I think we're going to hopefully win 2-1. OK. Um, Javi Garcia has made quite a few signings in January. Yes. What have you made of those? I hope they're going to be good for us. You, you, you know, I've, I, I've got a terrible memory for the team, but I do my best, you know, but... Let's hope they do well for us, because I'd like us to stay up, as usual. No problem. And my last question is, uh, let's fast forward to May. Uh, will Watford still be a Premier League club in May? Yes, definitely. Yes, yes definitely. All right.
thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the game. All right, thank you. On duty. Who are you guys, anyway? Yeah, uh, we're from my Watford News. OK. Uh, so I am with, what's your name, please? Hilda. OK, Hilda, and you? Andy. OK, um, so you've got a tough game tonight against Chelsea. Uh, if Watford lose, which we hope they don't, obviously. If. Yeah, if Watford if. lose. Sorry, sorry. Will you be in a little bit of trouble, do you think? No, because this is not a game that we're expected to win. So for me, these games are games that, if you pick up a point, that's a result. OK, what about you, sir? I think we're looking over our shoulders already. We're only three points off the, uh, off the relegation zone. Um, but like you said, you know... Chelsea. The chances are that we're not going to get not going to get anything. But all the pressures on Conte tonight. Um, Rumours of him getting getting sacked if if he loses. So yeah. if we perform like we did against Stoke in midweek, I think we can get something, and that'll be a point is a is a good result for us. I think. I think I think what you say though, the pressure is off us. Yeah. I mean there is pressure, like you say, it's very very tight, but all the pressures on Chelsea and, and sometimes we react well when we play the bigger teams I you know I think as players have got the belief if they go in there thinking a point's good enough then that's they're not going to not going to get a point they've got to be no. going in there with a true belief they can win Javi says we win we come to win that's what he says that's what I liked about him he said that straight away from the off Definitely. so and he's going for the win I'm sure I'm sure he is he's obviously he's brought in quite a few new players in January what have you made of the uh, arrivals at Vicarage Road too early to tell I think it's too early to say. I think they haven't had a proper run out. We, we need to see them play as a team a few more games before. Personally, I'd make a decision. Okay. So. Right, you end it. De La Feu looked very good at Stoke, um, but I think out of the four we signed, he's the only one really that's going to be pushing in the starting, starting lineup. And Dong was kind of a squad player just to make up for the injuries that and we've he's sustained. he's out anyway for this game because he's, uh, he's, he's suspended, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but he's just going to make up the numbers because we've got so many injuries in the yeah. midfield. Um, I'm I'm yeah, I'm surprised, surprised we didn't sign a few more players a bit earlier, especially a defender. But signed a new medical guy as well. Which yeah. is de- what we desperately <laughs> needed. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's the problem. I think it's really, really difficult. People need to give this guy a bit of a break because he's doing the best with what he's got. Yeah. If you actually look at the injury list, you've got a full first eleven there, um, and y- you know you have to cut the guy a bit of slack and, and see. Let, let's hope these other players use this as an opportunity to step up their game. And you know, you never know. We yeah. could beat Chelsea. It's going to be a good two years before he gets it right. The injury front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just one final question. Let's fast forward to May, will Watford still be a Premier League club? Of course we will. The Pozzos will not let us be anything other. Okay. And I believe really strongly in that. Okay, well, how about you, sir? Ditto. I can't add anything to that. All right. Really. Thank you very much for your time.